right now at 5.30, this man is now behind bars, accused of repeatedly groping women in the Coral Gables area. Those victims were all out exercising when they were assaulted, allegedly, by a man on a bicycle. And cops even say some were even chased and attacked. Well, today we are hearing from one of them. Local Tennis Terrell Fournay live now with her story. Terrell. Yeah, this female victim says that she still is suffering both physically and mentally because of what happened to her. This neighborhood is south of Southwest 8th Street along Ponce de Leon Boulevard, and things got so bad that detectives used undercover officers to stake out the area, which proved to be beneficial. So every time I turned to the dark street, he was right after me. The woman who is still too frightened to show her face says her nightmare began last week while walking her dog off Ponce de Leon Boulevard. At that point I just like hold my head, saw that I'm bleeding and run screaming to the other side to some place that I knew there are people there to call the police. After being tailed for nearly 30 minutes, she says 22-year-old Rodolfo Cole Torres picked up a large rock and hurled it right at her head in an unprovoked attack. Yeah, I try not even to look at him. I try not to, no, I looked at him. I try not to give him attention. We're throwing a deadly missile. Today, Torres is in jail, tracked down by detectives after being linked to six different attacks against women. I'm so relieved that he, at least he's not going to be around here. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Two of those incidents involved rocks and another two of those incidents involving women who say they were groped. All of the victims point at Torres out of a photo lineup. I'm thankful that he didn't touch me, but then again, I'm awake on pain pills. My head like crazy hurt. And right now, Torres is still in jail. He's been charged with four counts of simple battery, one count of assault, and one count of aggravated battery. In today's bond court appearance, he suggested to the judge that he has a history of mental illness. We're live in Coral Gables. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.